Paul Kapner. I'm the executive chef here at the Community Food Bank. Uh, I've been here for just over five years. I've been a chef for about 25 years. It's targeted towards low income. Uh, it's, it is open to anybody, but it's targeted towards low income. People coming out of a uh, correctional facility, maybe coming out of uh, a, reha a rehabilitation facility. Uh, but again, we don't. It's, it's open to anyone that wants to come in. So it's probably 500 hours of hands-on cooking time. Okay, six to seven hours a day in the kitchen, an hour and a half each day in classroom uh, over the course of 14 weeks. The goals of the program is to help people break the cycle of poverty. Okay, a lot of people coming into this program are, are considered in the poverty level, uh, can't get a job, are on, the, are on the social service system, you know, uh, and a lot of them don't want to be there. I mean, you know, almost everyone coming to this program don't want to be there. So if they're able to get a job, specifically in the food business, which is, a, even in the recession, it's still, it's still a growing field. People have to eat. So it's always a growing field. Uh, and if they're get, able to get into this field, our hope is that they can move up and hopefully get out of the uh, uh, poverty level. Graduation at the end. Um, a lot of our students have never really graduated anything in their lives or completed anything in their lives. We treat it like a real high school or college graduation. They don't walk down in a row, they walk down actually in brand new chef whites, which we give them at graduation. They wear, they're wearing their chef hats, and we have over 300 people in attendance. They, they, they get acknowledged for things that they did in the program. We want to make sure almost everyone at least gets some type of certificate so they can bring home, you know, in addition to their graduation certificate. And we give the students the time to, to say a few words at the end, of, at the end to, to talk to their families, you know, in front of everybody. And actually that's the greatest moment where, not that they break down, but they really, you know, it's, it's a... a what this program meant to them, or, or what you know, the food bank has helped, achieve, you know, help them achieve. I'm the culinary employment specialist here for the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. Uh, what my job entails is actually preparing students to go out into the workforce. So I assist them with resume writing, interviewing skills. Uh, if they need any type of uh, suit attire to go on interviews, that's what I assist them with. Also, uh, making contacts and, and eventually going on internships that will assist them out in the culinary field. It's an ongoing process. Um, once the students are accepted into the program, um, we, we leave our door totally open. Even after the 14 weeks and they graduate, I still make sure I keep up with the students and also assist them with anything that they need as far as uh, new job prospects or if they need anything with clothing to go on interviews. So the door is always open. Um, went to Integrity House, from there went to the food bank in Hillside, um, became interested in food. Worked in the kitchen for six months. That six months, uh, I developed a you know, passion for food. Well, they teach you um, all the foundation work. Um, when I first got there, uh, I didn't know a lot of things. I didn't know how to hold a knife, more or less how to um, prepare a you know, four-course meal or anything. The chefs there are they're caring people. They do. They care about your basic welfare. Um, Nicole is wonderful at making sure that you, you know, at least attempt to find employment right after. She will um, go over and beyond to help you find employment. So they're very, very caring people. One thing about Nicole and the chefs, they know what job is um, best for you. They get to know you personally so that they know where to send you. Um, I don't think I would really excel that much as a line cook or, you know, working at the Hilton on the line. I mean, I, I could do the job, I just don't think I would like it. So it's like they get to know you and they send you on jobs that they feel is best you know, for you. It gave me a sense of uh, self-worth. You know, it, it helps your self-esteem. It helps you be a better person. Um, I, I can take my daughter shopping now and tell her to pick out whatever you want, which I did last weekend. Like I said, I'm, I'm using this as a foundation. I plan to further my education in the culinary field. I plan to, you know, um, go back to school and further it. But this is like made um, life a lot easier. Um, my name is Douglas Scott. Hi, my name is Shawna Caden. My name is uh, Ahmed Turner. I am a, a student here at the culinary, uh, in the culinary program. I Previously worked in uh, financial services, um, but due to some life situations, um, I found out that my calling and my fulfillment always involved cooking. 
I enjoy what I'm doing right now. I have been exposed to many different people and many different things that the program entail. You know, you hear culinary program, you think you're going to be cooking all the time, but you have to learn how to cut and you have to learn how to prepare different meals. And not only your favorite meals and the things that you like, you get to prepare. You have to also understand how to prepare other meals that you're not accustomed to and how it's supposed to taste. It's got me on the road to becoming a top chef where I can ultimately start my own restaurant. It's been quite beneficial. I mean, I've learned already a lot of new terms, a, a lot of new uh, techniques. Um, it also gave me a good idea of what the business would be about outside of just preparing a meal. So it's been uh, very advantageous. Yeah. My name's Rob Bildner, and I was the president of the board of directors of the Community Food Bank. And I was very committed to the mission of the food bank. And I thought that it would be a great idea to develop a commissary to produce food for many of the soup kitchens and organizations that got food from the food bank, uh, but needed prepared food and meals and couldn't do it on their own. And I thought it would be just a great idea for us, the food bank, to actually produce it. And I also thought that when we were making the food, it would be great to have a, a place that could train people for jobs because it's not enough just to produce food. In my opinion, it's very important to also give people the opportunities to, to make their own livelihoods and to you know, get a job and to get training. The mission of the food bank is to fight hunger and poverty. Hunger is a symptom of poverty. And when we can have a program that is actually attacking uh, poverty. We, we think uh, as a board and a staff, it's so important that some of our resources go to those activities that attack the cause of hunger. People now have the opportunity for self-sufficiency. This program um, is one we're so thrilled with. Uh, it, is, um, it is a jewel here. Uh, it's life-changing. People who perhaps never saw any opportunities in life, now will have not only a job, but a career. With the Food Training Academy, we get to see with each class the impact that the food bank is having.